Uh, Barry, now you've already you've already got to the nub of this. You've already said that everyone's underestimating Canelo's speed. And I think that's what he was referring to there. So yeah. he's he's thinking along the same lines got, as you. If you speak to like Ryan Rhodes, Matthew Hatton, they'll tell you he's fast. Mm. I think and he is fast, I think, but more than speed. He has exceptionally good timing. He gets in the distance really quickly. Yeah. You no, know, before you realise, like all great fighters do, they they can they, they seem like they're out of the way. They slide the distance. Their timing's really good, which beats to good timing. Yeah. Beats blind speed every time. That's every what time. both Ryan Rhodes and Dave Coldwell talked about. Uh, they they talked about how this guy is so much better than you think he is. He is his yeah. movement's so much better than you think he is. He's, 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 his speed is so much better than you thought about. And what Matthew Hatton said was how strong he is. Just how physically strong he is. I don't think that's any secret, though, the physical no. strength. I think he works on it, he uses that, and I think he has to go out and do that early. I'll tell you something, though. Go on, son. He's well prepared, Alvarez. Yeah. But they think this is an easy fight. Yeah. I tell you, they, you can tell by his demeanour. You can tell because they're building can up. Yeah, that's interesting. When a, when a, when a guy builds up his opponent up, he thinks it's an easy touch, which is a good sign for Kang. Because if, if he takes if he takes it half easy, like I said, and I said earlier, and Kang gets a few rounds under his belt and gets some confidence himself, mm. Kang could, could walk away. With it.